Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Today, we have traveled to the Talladega Super Speedway for IROC Talladega. This is going to be race number eight in the IROC series, season three. And this is our season finale here for the IROC series. Let's go through the top 10 in points, actually, all the points here for the IROC series. Let's go through those because it is very, very close. Your points leader is the three of Geek Girl Games. Tied for second will be the 07 of Douche Baggins and the 96 of Nico. Fourth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Sixth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. Uh, no race after this. No team points. But this is championship week for the more freedom stock car racing association uh we've got i rock talladega here today where all this crowd is already filing in for and then come friday we have the more freedom series which decides their championship here this season at the at talladega for the wishbone attack memorial talladega 100 so i think it is time they've getting they're getting their cars shaken down they're not dialing them in because they're all the same but i think it's about time so let's go racing as i get these cars fired up let's go through your starting lineup here today for irock talladega starting on the pole will be the 96 of nico and on his outside the three of geek girl games starting third will be the 23 of fuller than you and on his outside the 40 of veteran chaos starting fifth will be the 329 of heck of a duber and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting ninth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 25 of JTM. So let's look at your starting lineup today for this IROC Talladega. The 96 of Nico, who runs second in points, tied with the 07 of Douche Baggins, is, will be starting on our pole which is very important because he's currently three points behind G3 for the championship lead. But by virtue of him starting on the pole, he's going to get those five bonus points, which means he technically at the start of this race, when he crosses the start finish line will be the points leader. So he'll be leading by two points over G3 when they right now he's currently leading by two points over g3 right now so i'm looking forward to this race it's going to be amazing these cars are going to be they're going to be going fast here at talladega these dodge vipers and g3 is going to be trying to win a championship here in the irock series nick's going to be trying to pull off two in a row here in the irock series and so he's looking for championship number three overall in his career. G3 is looking for championship number two. The pace car is off. We're going to head through the trioval first because it is the start finish line is after the trioval and after pit road. So they're leading us. Nick is leading us down to take the green flag. We're going to see when this starter brings it out here crowd is getting intense right now green flags out we're underway for tap high rock talladega heading down into turn one nick gets the jump on the bottom of the track g3 we're gonna see what she can get that car wound up the 23 of fuller than you right there to the back bumper of the 96 of nico followed right behind him is going to be the 329 of heck of a duber we see the 07 of douche baggins dropping back already so nick is trying to lead lap number one He's got a line of cars underneath him with the 23 of Fuller than you, the 329 of Heck of a Duber as they go too wide into turn three and four. So G3 is actually trying to lead lap number one as she is now to the back bumper of that 23 of Fuller than you almost. Looks like that high line with the, the 96 of Nico is working hard right now, but I think your leader on lap number one will be the 23 of Fuller than you. So right now, I think Nick and G3 are all, uh, G3 might have the advantage right now due to the fact that she is ahead of Nico in line on the track as we watch 
the three of Geek Girl Games down to the inside of the 23 of Fuller Than You. That low line is going to get the push as we see the 25 of JTM, who started in 10th, now to the bumper and around the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Three of Geek Girl Games is going to get a little bit of a lead here, coming off of turn four, heading towards the stripe. Looks like the 25 of JTM is going to go with her as they. Sl <laughs> It looks closer from that angle as the three of Geek Girl Games going to get those five bonus points for leading the lap. But here comes the 0-7 of Douche Baggins, who also needs to lead a lap here today as he runs uh, three points behind G3. I don't think he's going to get it as we see the 49 of Jetman down to the inside of that 0-7 of Douche Baggins. So Jetman, who I don't think he's got a chance. He's 120 points back right now in the standing so he doesn't have a chance here to win today i think probably maybe the top four have a chance here today so if that three five six of ice cream some days can pull off some kind of crazy miracle here today she could win this series as we see at three wide with 13 of king of the aces we haven't even brought up her timing and scoring because it's just been hot heavy action so let's bring up your timing and scoring so you can see that the leader on the previous lap was the three of Geek Girl Games. We're going to see who they score as number one here in just a second. It's going to be the 49 of Jetman. As we see the 96 of Nico, he tried to work himself back up to the front of this race, but it looks like the 356 of Ice Cream Someday is going to lay down to the bottom of the track and it's going to help her teammate, the three of Geek Girl Games. So no teams, so to speak, here in the IROC series, but... Why wouldn't you help your teammate out, you know, as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who currently runs fourth about 40 points, 34 points back from the three of Geek Girl Games. She's got an outside chance of winning this championship. As we watch the 329 of Heck of a Duber down to the inside of that 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, Duber, who had that amazing run last season, has been kind of skunked in the More Freedom Series this year is down and around the 356 of ice cream some days. So right now, I think your points leader, if it, if it finished right here, would be the 07 of Douche Baggins. He's got a few spots up on the three and the 96. DB, who was your, um, I'm sorry, your IROC Series champion in C for season one, is looking for another IROC Series championship. But he has got, I don't know, what do we got? Like 13 laps to go still here in IROC Talladega as the front of the field is still just lap after lap, corner after corner. They are changing positions as we watch the 49 of Jetman slip up to the middle of the track as the 13 of King of the Aces works down to the bottom here. So Coda down to the bottom. We're going to see if the 96 what he does he's going to stay to the bottom of the track right now because his teammate in the more freedom series the 49 of Jetman above him he's got a teammate a couple cars back with the 25 of jtm as db slides to the back the 96 to the middle of the track the three of geek girl games down to the inside right here so we see g3 running back to the front nico is desperately trying to lead a lap here today and he has been skunked every single time he has got to the front of this field g3 however has led a lap so she currently is your points leader again back to the point goes the three of geek girl games as the 25 of jtm goes back to the front of this field uh, followed closely by the 356 the 40 of vetra chaos down to the inside of the 356 25 blocking for his life right now as the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 96 and the 356 go three wide into three and four. So the 96 of Nico trying to lead a lap here today. He's trying to get another five bonus points. He's doing what he can. I mean, it is just, this track is wild as they're cruising around here at 230 miles an hour here today. The 25 of JTM still your leader, but the 07 of Douche Baggins Able to push to the inside and around him with help by the 23 of Fuller Than You and the 329 of Heck of a Duber and a host of other folks down there as we see G3 Motors reports in the form of the 3 and the 356 down to the inside line. 
The 96 of Nico makes it three wide with his teammate, the 25, as we see the 329 of Hekova Duber out to the point here. Duber has led a lap, and we're going to see if he can lead another one as that when they cut down to the bottom of the track, it, you know, from the camera angle just looks insane. As we see the 49 of Jetman down to his inside right here. So Jetman pushing that car out to the front. Again, equally prepared cars. So it is just an insane amount of just the speed, the speed inside these cars right now at 230 miles an hour is your average speed. That's your average speed on this track. And so we're probably heading 240, 250 heading into some of these turns here has that just so close like inches between the three and the three five six as g3 leads another lap here today so the wild crazy thing is g3 may have led it halfway we're gonna see if that was her or duber actually it may have been i'm well, we're gonna have to check that at the at the end but it's going to be wild and crazy to see these points at the end of this race as G3 right now has led three laps. And that could be those three laps. She could lead four laps. That could be the most laps led here today. And if that's the case, that could just stick the 96 of Nico. I mean, that could be the nail in the coffin for him and the 07 of Douche Baggins. As G3 gets stuck out on the high line, the 25, the 23, the 96, and the 329 working down the back stretch. The 07 of Douche Baggins down to the inside of the 329. As we're going to see what the 96 does here. 25 leads the way here at Talladega with the 23 of Fuller than you and the 96 of Nico hot on his tail. Here comes the 07 of Douche Baggins as it's what as we've got pit stops happening here pit stops happening on lap number seven so a huge shakeup happening right now as they are coming into these pits after 13 laps using so much fuel here today that they need to hit the pit stop the 25 of jtm is into the pits we're going to watch that 96 of Nico and see what they do. Uh, could be detrimental as he's the first pit stall. Probably going to be fuel only for the 96. Fuel only for all of these drivers. We're going to catch up. There is the three of Geek Girl Games, who is your current leader. So G3 coming into the pits. We're going to watch her come down here and see what this group of four does as the first six pitted. So G3 leads us down. And the interesting thing here will be is she's your current leader. And there is the possibility that the 49 of Jetman passes her before the start finish line. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think G3 is going to be the leader there. Forty nine of Jetman's getting squirrely. There comes the twenty five of JTM. I think he will be your leader here with just about five laps to go. The 49 of Jetman down to the inside on the bottom of the of the track right there next to G3. He's working hard to get around her right now. So the 96 of Nico and the 07 of Douche Baggins way back here in the back of the pack right now. We're going to see if this pack, if they all get together, what happens here as we'll catch up to your leader, the 25 of JTM. JTM definitely needs to... Uh, get a win here. He runs ninth in points. He's not in, in contention to win the championship here today due to that. But, hey, a, good, a win here in the IROC series would, you know, it feels good. It feels good to finish the year on a win, on a high note. 
Um, he's going to be caught by, I think he's going to be caught by the 23 and the 329 in very short order. But with this lap led here, if he can lead this lap, that will put him tied for the number of laps led with him and the three of Geek Girl Games. So he has now led four. She has led four. As the 329 and the 23 catch up, there is the three of Geek Girl Games, the 96 of Nico, and the 07 of Douche Baggins. These are the people that are fighting for the championship right now. I believe G3 is currently still three points ahead of the 96 of Nico. And let's check to make sure Douche Baggins has led zero laps here today. So DB has to finish, I would say... He's about eight points back right now, so he has to finish at least four, three positions ahead of G3 to win the championship. As a 96 of Nico down to the inside, he is into the fourth position right now. We're going to see if they can catch up to this front pack. The 23 of Fuller Than You, the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and the 25 of JTM. So your leader right now on the track is the 23 of Fuller Than You over the 329 and the 25. Second pack is slowly catching up. They're about 2.2 seconds back right now. We're going to see if they are able to make a move to the front of this field as we see three wide battle between the 25, the 329, and the 23. Duber comes down, shuts the door on the 25 of JTM as the 23 of Fuller Than You is going to fall to the third position here. The 96 of Nico is leading the way in with uh, the second pack here. So we're watching him pace the second pack as the 25 of JTM trying to make take the lead here and lead lap, his fifth lap of the day as the 23 of Fuller Than You down to his inside. So JTM with that lap led there will actually take over the high, the number, the highest laps led as I think that was the white flag, folks. White flag, one lap to go. This is the lap. This is going to decide the championship here in the More Freedom Series. Your leader on the final lap right now is the 25 of JTM. All important battle back here between the 96, the 07, the three of Geek Girl Games, but your leader here for the final lap, the 25 of JTM, he's coming off of turn four. We're gonna see if the 23 of Fuller Than You and the 329 have a run for him. Down to the inside, here comes the 25 of JTM, he's gonna win here at Talladega. The 96 of Nico is gonna finish two positions ahead of the three of Geek Girl Games. And we're going to see if that's enough, folks. We're going to see if that's enough points to give Nico the championship or if G3 takes it. So let's go through your finishing order. Again, your winner is the 25 of JTM. Second's going to be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 49 of Jetman. Ninth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 13 of King of the Aces. So Nico did not lead a lap here today, but he got those five bonus points for starting on the pole. So we're going to see if there's enough points in between them. So let's go to those points right now. Hot off the presses, the calculations for the points being complete and what I can only describe as one of the craziest point situations in all of the more freedom stock car racing. I let's go to these points because there is a huge change at the top and we're crowning a new champion here today. Your points leader and champion 
for the More Freedom or the IROC series season three, the three, five, six of Ice Cream Some Days. Tied for second will be the 07 of Douche Baggins and the 96 of Nico. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Duper. Eighth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. So with her finish of fourth here today, there were enough points between herself and and the 96 of Nico and the 07 of Douchebaggins that Ice Cream Some Days was able to leapfrog both those DB, Nico, and G3 and win your points championship here today in the IROC series. Just unbelievable way to finish Season number three here in the IROC series with a wild and crazy victory in the championship and the race here at Talladega. So congr congratulations today to your IROC series season three champion, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And congratulations today to the 25 of JTM. He actually wins three races in a row in the More Freedom Stock Car Racing season two in... Uh, the More Freedom Series and the race here today. So congratulations to the 25 of JTM. He is your winner here today at Talladega. Congratulations to, I, I'm looking forward to the race on Friday here back here at Talladega. And I hope you are too. Again, congratulations to Ice Cream Someday. She is your winner for IROC Series Season 3. A massive, massive victory here for her. She will be back next season for the IROC Series. And I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. And until Friday, back here for the Wishbone Attack Memorial Talladega 100. Take care. <laughs>